watching, Brad Jeff. say this brother see what you just said we need to be heard because what we don't understand about the vision is that's a terrible thing see mothers If you don't position yourself to begin to allow the Holy Spirit to build these people. See, I'm telling you because the blood was on my hand. And I'm charged to tell, I'm charged to tell everybody all the stuff that holds you back, all the stuff that's gonna cause you damnation, all the things that's gonna bind you to eternal end. Your faith represented leadership. The old strength of our people that we have not utilized and we have not partook in because the floor was floating, it was floating along with the process. God is showing that we we're going to perish in this life we live in. And I chose. I'm not living in this life. This is not a come and gather and fellowship and hang out for the fun of it. These are souls. These are souls. These are people that you are looking at. These are people that you are creating and stumbling before because they look at you. They see you. people are going to choose him. How about talking? 
Ain't about I'm about to fail. You ain't gonna do it. You're not. You ain't done it now. You, you ain't gonna do it by talking. When I saw the floor flow, I'm just like, I'm standing there talking. It's just like, it's just like this over here. Like you saying it, but it's like the word ain't landing on a solid foundation. It's just, it's dreamy. It got so heavy, I couldn't even tell my wife. And the charge that came for me. I don't care the condition of these people. It's blood on your hand. For oh, people that ain't on you, that ain't on all. Oh, okay. That's why I see what I'm doing. I know I'm, I'm getting on y'all's business. Everything he's showing, I'm not. I'm going to do what I got to do. Get in my way and see what happens. What will y'all do to you? Now, remember, hey, watch. Remember I said today. You change. You be not conformed. So the charge is coming to every doorway. I told you. And then watch. Watch when you hear it. Watch when you see. If you ain't carnal. Watch. It's already been said. This ain't nothing new. Y'all had to show me in the, in the midst. Only way you don't hear today is you that exalted yourself above the knowledge of Yah. So here's our message. A thought about Hades. Right? And when we get into Hades, we see a lot of things we can begin to lay together. Hades, Sheol, Gehenna. Right? But there's an understanding that's going to come with this by the time we're done because the Most High has already prepared a place for people who are lukewarm, for people who do not walk according to his ways. He, when he say walk by his ways, he mean it. And you got to understand, it ain't you trying to keep the commandments. It's, this thing is a lot simpler. And because it's that simple, we don't do it. That's where that's where the charge is coming in. It's so simple. We don't do it. We have a lot to learn about ways of righteousness and the final destination of the saints. Listen to what was just said. I said we have a lot to learn about that. But the thing about it, you don't have a lot of time. You think that your time is taken up and that there's a lot of distractions now. See, the, the whole thing with understanding this is you're going to have to understand this. <clears throat> this is from the JPS to knock. That's Jeremiah 10 2. Read that, D. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the ways of the nation. Stop.
We talk about simplicity here. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, learn not the ways of who? The nations. The nations have taken away the simplicity of God. They have taken away the simplicity of Christ. You don't understand what I'm saying. I'm going to keep saying simplicity until we get to that moment where you're supposed to have that Holy Spirit moment. Not a light bulb moment. So I'm not trying to just give you an idea. I'm trying to get you to understand how far you away. Ain't no way the word is coming forth. We, we, we right here, we just fall asleep. I'm talking about in our actions. We, we have become complacent in serving y'all. Think about it. Think about what you value. Think about how you value coming, getting here on time. Think about how you value being here. Think about how you value standing there when it's time to put your hands in there. Shame about how much noise you can make. I'm looking at the condition of the people. Well, I praise at home. No, you don't. You're too busy. You may say a little prayer. Because when you enter in, when you plant that type of fruit in the ground, it's an overflow with it. There's an overflow that comes forth or it comes off of you. It comes off. How do you think I'm able to praise and other people get affected? Because the spirit moves high. Your spirit is low. Hades is waiting. Playing with it. Finish reading it. And be not dismayed at the signs of the heavens. For the nations are dismayed at them. See, this statement right here, this, this verse in Jeremiah shows you that the nations, the Gentiles, are totally totally in opposition to Yah. There is no way they can teach you Yah. There is no way that they can get you to understand the depths of what we can really understand today. That's why I took for the words of Josephus, his declaration was to the Greeks, to the Gentiles. And he was able to stand firm in his belief in, the, in that hour. When it was time for him to speak on such a matter because of what he known within. See, when you touch the things of the Holy Spirit and there's a knowing within. See, that charges you to go out higher and go out bolder. And who you are to become. But when you are stagnant in your person, in your spiritual Man who have been created by Yah for this purpose. You be stagnant because guess what? You ain't touched it yet. It's a reason why you ain't touched it. See, one of the reasons you're going to see about the ground and just how impure we are. The same thing that you put in the ground, the same thing you're going to get back. You are a fruit above ground, bearing no fruit. Ooh. Simplicity. Y'all help us. Help us, y'all. We have a people that sits before you week in. And we got. See, this is what's burning in my spirit right now. We, we've been doing this for a while. We have not touched the simplicity that gives the salvation. Are y'all hearing me? 
The contrast in the aforementioned statement and Jeremiah 10 2 is distraction and or the determination of the heart to truly engage in the ways of righteousness. Does that make sense? Let me break this down to you. The statement I made and the verse in Jeremiah comes down to either you are going to forever in all your days that is numbered on this earth. You're going to dwell, walk, serve in distraction. See, when you are serving in distraction, you can't fulfill a duty. So guess what? That's a weapon of the enemy to get you to produce bad fruit. You produce some fruit, but it's bad. Breaking dishes, hiding stuff. Have clean dishes. Can't make it, can't make it to the land. Wasting seeds. When Yah has a requirement. And you want Yah to accept that. That he said we know that we hereby love Yah when we do what? But when we serve the brethren, the fruit is not good. Are y'all here? Yes, sir. The fruit is not good. So therefore, you serve in distraction. Something else got your mind when you can't focus on serving. When you can't focus on helping me, what I'm asking you to do. Something got you distracted where you ain't trusting fully, where you ain't believing in the process. Something. Or determination of what? <coughs> See, what's truly in your heart, what's truly in your heart manifests on the outside. So if you ain't doing nothing, If you're doing a little, if you're halfway helping, it's going to manifest on the outside. So, the result is external rest and joyous freedom in the kingdom of Yah or unimaginable torment of the soul. See, that's the result of this. See, if you truth, your heart is truly engaged, then guess what? The result is, right? Should be eternal rest and joy is free. All right? So let us evaluate our walk. All right? Let us evaluate. Let's talk. What makes or what is the content of righteousness? What is the making of being righteous? <coughs> the best? Um, live set apart. Um, let your fruit show that you are following you. Okay? Says Abraham believed John was accounted to him for righteousness, so he believed him, but that was evidenced by his actions. By his actions, Brother Martin. In simplicity, get up, get thee up out of thy father's house and go, right? <laughs> go where, do what, how, when, what day.
Right? See, you see? You see? You see? You see? But us, this is, man, this pull of tea for y'all. Who are we? Who are we to y'all? That we just, it, it's, he got to prove himself. We don't say that out of our mouths. But then I look, you, 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 this is it. Yo, guess what? <laughs> what did we read? Your accountability is going to be right now. What you was doing. On this earth. While he was dwelling. While he was around. His people. What did you do? Your thing. Only a little bit. Why I do this much? But this is how I'm going to do it. Man, this ain't about. This ain't trying to get you to do nothing. It's about Hades. It's about giving you a thought on what Hades is. What it's for. What is the whole talk and concern in the Hebraic mindset of what Hades is? There's some depth to it. There's even there was even a valley where they burned things and got rid of things, and it was considered to be as the thought of Hades. But it's more depth. What determines a pure state of being? Mm, listen. Listen, listen, listen. How did you get up there? Yeah. Okay. Did you get up with joy? Did you move around? Did you just go through your routine? You get ready, do this, do that. You feel the thing? Because wait till you see it. Wait till you see it in here. It's like. You, that's what's going. That's going to be one of the pictures that's going to be shown to people who's going to be in Hades. You're going to see them that enjoy, yeah, they enjoy them on Earth, and you're going to, you're going to see the same joy. They're going to be enjoying them in the kingdom while you torment. See, you 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 need all of these things. You do. You simplicity. But you need a lot of different things. You need a lot of things to get your spirit stirred. You need a lot of things for you to jump around and praise. You need a lot of things. A lot of things you need before you can even begin to give to yourself. So please. So. What determines a pure state of being? Fruit. Fruit. Proper function. Proper function. Real chapter five. No, sir. Yes. Oh yes, sir. Proper function. Pure state of being. Fruit. Proper function. See, you know, and, and I already knew this. See, we're going into some depth because, see, a lot of that is still surface. Why? Because we read, we've been around, we've heard preaching, we've we got our own studies, a lot of different things. But it still don't equal the simplicity of understanding a pure being. Because it's even more simpler than that. Well, how simple can you get? Well, let's keep going. Because people are going to go to the lake for not walking in the real simplicity. (coughs) 
What was the question again, Brother Snow? Now, what determines the pure state? No, 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 not that question. Does, does one have to live on a community to make it into the kingdom of heaven? <clears throat> Simplicity. Simplicity. I tell you this. How easy you make it for somebody else. How much you stand and give somebody else a, a visual image. How much you give them a reason. How much you affect them being committed and being convicted. has a lot to do with the simplicity and the righteousness. And I tell you what, you can't do it just going to church one day a week. <coughs> Why? Because well, guess what? When you're away from me, do I know what you're doing? No, sir. <laughs> so then you bring sin in the camp. Then when you dwell it, we know that you ain't worthy to dwell. Why? Because you bring in what you left. You bring in with you the ways of the world instead of the ways of righteousness. So when you bring in the ways of the world, there's a, you're not living simplicity. There's a lot of whys. You're not comfortable in serving Yah. See, this ain't about to come out the Gentile mindset. This ain't about education. It ain't about when well, you're supposed to critically think and ask questions. This ain't about no bullshit like that. This ain't got nothing to do with that. And I said it on camera. Yes, I did. <laughs> See, what this is about is understanding that Yah is greater. And I'm going to take this journey of the unknown. Who do y'all want you to take? So your faith can be tried. Because unless you are tried and proven, no king. Don't try your reign. You might be a coward. Right? You may be around your friends or your colleagues denying Jesus. Who knows what you're doing? Yeah. So, what determines a pure state? We're going to answer that. I got something for this too. Go ahead. So, when I look and think about pure, because I think about words, when they come to mind, what does words mean? Or what do word mean? words mean? And living in the world, either stuff like cocaine or silver, Pure, meaning it wasn't cut with anything. Mm -hmm. It wasn't mingled with anything. Mm -hmm. It was pure cocaine, or 100 percent, or 99.99 percent. That's still 99.99 percent. That means somewhere in that silver is something that's not silver. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in that cocaine is something that's not cocaine. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in people is something that's in there that's not pure. According to the word of Most High Yah. That's it. So then, see, because then I'm going to go ahead and just lay this. So when we get there, then we can pick this up. I want y'all to hear this. I was going to say, see, 
Being in a pure state of being is this. See, this is what we do. This is why a lot of people don't have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Because your imagination of the Holy Spirit ain't what it is. When you imagine the Holy Spirit, you you they, they did a good job. Say they did a good job. You, all you got stuck in your head is this. They burned that in your memories. Meaning something that ain't even real. You know, the Holy Spirit, remember the Holy Spirit was just like the law. The law, the fringes was to remind you of what? Right? To do the ways of righteousness, right? It was just to remind you. Right? The Holy Spirit come to keep you on track. And when your heart's desire to do righteousness is present, then it become one with the Spirit of Yah. And guess what it is then? It ain't this. All it is is just doing righteousness. That's right. Simplicity. Yeah, look, I mean, what were you thinking? See, because what happened is when we get that read, you're gonna see that everything had a function. Everything that still functions as according to command is pure. Everything that don't is unpure. Right? So was that? So when you are running around with all these thoughts, you're unpure. When you run around and you are charged, charged, charged them. Did y'all hear what I said? If I charge you to do something, you don't do it. What? You're unpure. What is the word? Disobey them. Obey them. I didn't say get in the lake. Crown yourself. That's what I said. I said get on one accord. I said die daily. Right? That's what purity is. Some